Hello everyone, welcome to Expand Future Academy YouTube channel. In this video, I will be explaining about what are null reference exceptions in C Sharp and how to fix it. This is one of the common exceptions every programmer will get when they are working with any of the complex applications. As the name suggests, when you have something in your program which is pointing to either null value or if it is not assigned with any of the value, that is when we are going to get null reference exception. Through this video, let us understand how to raise a null reference exception and let us understand what are the common ways a programmer will get null reference exception in their application development. Let us get into Visual Studio. Consider you have a class employee which contains two properties id and name and I have a public void method display which is used to display the value of id and name. To display the value, let us consider I am making use of employee class here it is employee object within this I am printing the value of employee id and name by using employee dot id space employee dot name from the main function I am creating an instance of employee class and assigning it with the value null which means employee instance is initialized with the value null which is a possible chance for getting null reference exception but when I try to initialize value for employee dot id with some value 1001 and employee instance dot name property some string value. You can observe even though I have initialized employee instance with the value null, I am not getting any kind of error. It is because syntactically whatever I have written is correct, but logically it is not initialized with the object. Let us go to the execution of the program and see whether we will get null reference exception or not. After executing this program, you can observe that we have received an unhandled exception which is nothing but a null reference exception. It is happening because object reference is not set to the instance of the object which means we are initializing the employee instance with null value but it is not initialized with the object. Let us go back to the program. Instead of having null value, let us create object of the employee class. Now the employee instance is initialized with the employee object. It is no more a null value. After that, I am calling the display method employee dot display by passing the value of employee object into the display method. If I go for the execution of the program, you can observe I have received the value of ID and name. This is how we are going to fix the null reference exception. So whenever you receive null reference exception, it means you have declared instance of the class but it is not initialized with the object or it is initialized with the null value. Initializing the instance with an object is the way to fix null reference exception. Now let us find another way of finding the null reference exception. Let us consider I have one more class address which contains two properties. Let's say public string city public integer pin code. These are the two properties of the address class. I will be making use of address property inside employee class. As I have used address property inside the employee class, I can initialize that value inside the main function. So what I can do is I'll be making use of employee object dot address dot city. Let's say Bangalore and again employee dot address dot pin code. I will be initializing with some value. So I will call this display method after initializing value for address. Now once again if I go for the execution of the program, you can still see that I received null reference exception once again. So probably by this time you might have understood the reason for getting null reference exception for employee class. The reason is you are making use of address class which is used as a property inside the employee class but again here you have created or you used it as a property but it is not yet initialized. In order to initialize this address, either you can make use of new address while creating the property inside the employee class itself. Otherwise, let me show you the one more way of initializing the address. So instead of having the value for employee address city and employee address pin code, so what we can do is you can make use of employee dot address is equal to new address so because I am going to create a new object over here within that I will be initializing value for city that is Bangalore and pin code is equal to some value after that I can just remove this one if I want to print the value of address inside the employee class I will go back to display method and within that I will make use of console.write line employee.address.city space employee.address.city dot 
address dot pin code let me go back for the execution of the program now you can observe id and name are printed for the employee class and city and pin code displayed for the address so this is how you can identify what is a null reference exception and how to fix the null reference exception that's it for this video if you want to learn more about programming please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you